Hello, this is Dr. DJ from Full Potential Chiropractic, and today what I wanted to go over was three great stretches to help alleviate your low back pain. Uh, when we look at most of our population, we sit uh, for many hours throughout the day. As a result of that sitting, we get an adaptive shortening of our quads and hip flexors and our hamstrings. The problem with that is that those muscles insert on our low back and pelvis uh, and when they're really tight they can pull our pelvis and low back into certain positions that can eventually lead to low back pain. So uh, these simple exercises really help reduce the effects of the, the short and tight muscles and it gives you a strategy to do at home to help you uh, prevent low back pain in the future. Okay, so first stretch that I want to do, uh, you're just going to be uh, in a lunge position. Okay, so in this lunge position, what you do is you want your knee over top of your ankle. Okay, so you don't want this forward or too far back. So have it straight over top of your ankle. This back leg um, is going to be slightly more than 90 degrees, so just angled slightly back. And then I want you to get into a good body position so your ears are lined up over your shoulders. When I look at a lot of people doing their stretches, they'll be bent over trying to reach as far as they can. Uh, and you end up just putting yourself in a, body, a bad body position and you, and you increase your risk for hurting your back as you're doing things. Okay, so we want ears over top of shoulders. Uh, with this stretch, you're going to engage your core and your glute muscles. And then I just want you to slightly lean forward. Okay, and as I do that, I'm already getting a really good stretch. If you're in good body position, you're going to get a great stretch. So you want to tuck that pelvis a little bit, lean forward. You're feeling a great stretch here. Uh, I want you to hold that for 45 seconds. All the stretches that I teach patients, I like you to hold it a good 45 seconds to a minute. That way we increase the length of the muscle. Um, you know, if you, you can hold a stretch 8 to 10 seconds before you work out for a warm-up. But when we want to increase that length, you want to stretch it for a good long time. Um, especially if you're sitting all day, you can imagine that you're going to need to hold the stretch long enough to have any sort of dramatic effect on that muscle. Okay, so that's stretch number one. You hold that 45 seconds, and you're going to switch sides and do it two to three times for 45 seconds on each side. Okay, so next stretch is going to be very similar to that, but we want to actually get into the deep hip flexor muscles. Um, so we're going to bring that arm up here like this. So same position, I engage my core, I engage my glute muscles, and I, and I lean forward here. By bringing that arm up, it creates more of a stretch through that upper hip flexor. Okay, so you're going to same thing, hold that for 45 seconds three times each side, two to three times each side, okay? Next stretch that we're gonna do is uh, gonna be for the hamstring, okay? So hamstring stretch is tricky. Again, I see a lot of people bent over really trying to reach those toes, uh, and they're compromising their back, they're increasing the risk for disc injuries. So I like to take that right out of the equation and show you a stretch um, that you can just do that's very safe, anybody can do this on their back. I use a strap, you can use a belt, you can use a towel. So just on your back, you're gonna wrap this around your foot, okay? So you drop your bottom leg that's not engaged, uh, flat on the ground, you're gonna let your head sit on the ground. I want you to tuck your shoulder, so pinch your shoulder blades in as you pull your leg up. Okay, so you can see I pinch my shoulder blades in, now I straighten my leg and pull with the arm, okay? And my ears are in line with my shoulders, and I've got a nice hamstring stretch here, and I hold that for 45 seconds. And then I'll do the same on the other side, okay? So that's a quick tip today to help you uh, reduce your risk of low back pain, it's going to make a huge difference for you. Um, but if you are struggling with low back pain and any of these stretches hurt, be sure to call our office to make sure that you're not putting yourself at risk or causing more damage. Have a great day.